<clears throat> Alright, so I'm here waiting for my uh, Master Chief collection to finish an updating. Hopefully they fixed a bunch of the bugs. And I was brought to my attention on my intro video on how to get the hexapod legs and hover legs to work. Uh, apparently it needs to be in the uh, site bought version, not the Steam version that has a... Actually, I'll show you real quick. The button you have to hit. And it allows this kind of thing, the snapshot, which is, that's the next thing I'm going to show. This, the snapshot test builds, this is what you do to get the fun hover legs and other toys. So that's what I learned. So that's cool. Now I have that on. Now I can test out the hex pods, which is what my focus for this is going to be. There's also, as released today, the, what's today? The 20th of November, Bomb Dog released a new update, which is awesome, which added new cockpits. Which, before, I don't know if you remember, the cockpits were light, heavy, and medium, and they just added the attacker type. I don't know what they do yet. So this is going to be a mixture of uh, showing off the hex pods, which I actually have a hex pod here in my load that I'm going to show real quick, but I'm not going to use. Because I want to try one, one of these attack attacker types with a hex pod just to see what, show off what the hex pod does and to see what the attacker cockpit does, because I have not tested it yet. So there's my hex pod. Load it. This is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna get into this when I go to build it. I'm not cutting anything out on this one. I'm not gonna edit it. But uh, but this is what my hex pod is. It's got you know six legs. It's the slowest unit. I think it's slower than the tread units. So that's one thing you have to take into consideration. But the next thing you have to consider is uh, actually I actually want to show off later, which is actually a really key feature of the hex pods that makes them great for heavy units, which is what I tend to like to use. So we're going to not to do that. Alright. So just because we're gonna do this, it's just random generate something. It actually has an attacker on it, but we're not gonna use that. For the purpose of this, I'm gonna show off one the uh, mobility between the treads right here first. Now what you're gonna notice, I'm gonna show off just the bottom one right now, is uh what we're gonna look at is the aim stability on these tank tread legs the aim stability is one thirty five. We're gonna go to the hexapod. The very bottom one Aim stability is 850. So, if you don't know what that means, basically what that means is when you go to fire a weapon that has high recoil, say the sniper rifle, we're going to sniper rifle, the recoil force is 158. That 850 means that you're going to be able to shoot the sniper rifle with little to no recoil, which is why on that hexapod I showed earlier, it had four different sniper rifles, all of varying uh, recoil force. And it barely flinches. It, I mean, there is some some recoil to it, but not nearly what it was with the treads. So that's one huge uh, thing you should take into consideration when using hexapods is they're slow, but when it comes to stability, they are like superior in every way. They're also, as I find one real quick, the max load on these is a lot higher than tanks. This is the one I believe I was using on the other one. Yeah. The, Boosted hex stompers, the 1,000, or wow, learn to read me. 12,344 is the max load. Now, if we go to a tread, the highest is nowhere near that. I mean, we're it's still in the 6,000s. Nothing is higher than that. So already the hexapods being slower, they can hold more to them. And, and faster, we're going to choose this one. I'm just going to move the thing over here. I'm not sure if that's intentional or if that's just kind of a me bug. Now, also, the thing you have to realize is that they're big, so you have to kind of zoom out. So I'm going to try to an attack your cockpit. Never tested them out yet. Downloaded it today. Had to go do other stuff. So I'm going to choose just a... I don't even know what to choose for this. I'm assuming it's able to attack. And I'm assuming it's also a weapon unit. So we're just going to go with the uh, attack protected dragon. I don't know what the difference between them is. So I could choose that now. Uh, you want a generator. We're just going to go with the large. The large is the better heavy one because we want a lot of energy when using a heavy unit like this for the sheer fact that we can load on a lot more stuff than on lighter units and as you can see I've barely used up a lot any weight whatsoever so this opens me up to a lot more different things I can do just with this it's kind of worth it now they also had a new deployment systems uh, the small uplink never tried that needed that. I have never tried the medium out as either still have not tried a comm satellite so you know what we're gonna take one of these we're going to throw that not there, apparently. Uh, okay. 
I want to throw it back here. Can I throw it back here? There we go. I'll throw that right there. Don't know what comp satellite does, so we're going to try that out. So now to test this to show off the uh, recoil compensation on this, I'm just going to choose a random sniper rifle, which went near where I wanted it. Put it there. All right, that actually went there. Now we're going to do this with, uh, we're going to throw a cannon on here. I want a high range cannon because it's going to compensate with the, uh, it's going to work with the sniper rifle. So I'm going to go with the 525 on that. Because again, it has to work with the sniper rifle. Uh, let's go throw some more, another sniper rifle on there. Throw, just throw, let's throw, uh, this one on. I actually messed around with this enough that I am getting the controls on the garage a little bit better, getting a better grasp of it. The other thing you can do is there is space under, I think, some of the hex pods where you can put the cockpit under the leg unit, the mobilities. So that's one thing you can also consider where you put your cockpit. Between your legs is probably the safer option. Because now on the other side, we're going to go with the quad 60. We're going to go with the heavy weapons. Don't know where that went. All right, that went over there. Still not sure exactly what causes certain weapons to do that, where it just kind of spawns in a different location. We do that. Let's throw on an assault rifle. Let's go with these. The hex, the uh, six-sided versions of weapons tends to move a little better. I also learned that if you hit that gear button, it seems like it stops other things from being targeted. Like, you, I can't... If I hit this, that gear button, I can't move to another thing. That might also help with building. Just a little word to the wise when you go to do this. You know, you can hit that gear button. So far, it seems like it stops other things from being chosen. Uh, we want something to do damage continuously, so let's go with the minigun. Move that up to here. And let's just, for good measure, just for close range, let's go with a shotgun. We'll go with... Uh, let's go with a good fire rate. Assuming the lower the better. Uh, some games it's the lower the better, some games it's the higher the better. I don't... I haven't tested it enough in this game to know which is which. So, I'm going to find it. There it is. Uh, let's just attach it to... I think I have to attach it to the front. I didn't even know I was going to attach it to the front of this. Interesting. So this is, my, this is the hexapod I'm going to be using for the term, the purpose of this video. This is going to be a, probably a long one. Mostly this is to show off a bunch of things I didn't know were in here from the uh, this version of the game. Let's go to weapons. Uh, actually, the attacker is not on there. I wonder if maybe it increases your attack speed or something. We'll find out. doesn't have a lot of firing control so we're gonna probably overlap on some weapons just because I didn't take into account that I needed more weapons Whoop, I missed one problem you're gonna have with doing that is you're gonna miss every now and then alright can I choose that? I guess not, alright let's see this is the map we're gonna be using so we're gonna deploy I'm um, going to deploy to my usual map. I've gotten to know it really good. Oh, there's also their siege mode. I should probably test it out in a different video. I played it a couple times on my own. It's actually a really nice mode. It's basically uh, one life, 3v3, and it's... I think if you waste everyone in the map, you win, or if you go to the other base and no one's there, you win. I haven't figured out that part because the AI usually just sits at the base and doesn't move. It says it's recording 60 FPS. I'm not sure why. So this is the thing. It moves slow. I'm still not sure what the com thing does. Oh, that's what it does. It's a tracker. Uh, something's making my system chug. It's probably the capture software or whatever's going on over there. So now I have this. Oh, I have the sniper selected. There's a target all the way over there. Now I'm going to shoot the sniper and the cans all at once. Little to no recoil. So that's one thing you should really know when you're going to use these kind of legs is that when you go to fire, you're going to experience almost no recoil upon firing. So if you're a sniper class, this is really useful for you. You can use it to your advantage. And uh, really just 
set up a sniper class hexapod and just do work with sniper units because you you won't flinch you have little to no recoil this is three different uh, rec high recoil re weapons that are on one side of the Mav that almost don't move whatsoever. Still moves really slow when you're in camera mode on the mouse and keyboard. I missed with that. That's why we have this secondary weapon we're going to try out. Which in my experience, that will happen. You will still get hit by the impact force and get nuked like I am. Also, yeah, my computer's chugging. My software's trying to record in 60 FPS. So which is bad. I made the mistake of getting too close, which is my problem with doing that, is I'm going to get destroyed. Because I am dumb. The problem there is, is I'm getting hit from something that's making me react really badly like that. But I got too close to that, that was my own fault for being stupid. Um, yeah, uh, you can somewhat take more damage than the treads. From what I can tell, I did survive a lot of shots on that. I'm not sure how or why. And then that happens. So we're back over here. I still have controller style controls on. I'm not sure why I should really turn those off. But all the action is all the way over there now. Unfortunately, and I think there's a hover pod that's now stuck, which is great for me because I'm using snipers. And this is going to be easy if I get the angle correct and I just sit here and wait for my guns to reload you can just sit here and pound away at them now I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till I'm gonna fire again and I'm gonna wait till all three are loaded and I'm gonna fire again now we're gonna watch I'm not gonna touch the mouse after I fire and we're gonna watch how little recoil there is when I fire I didn't touch the mouse and you barely move that much I'm pretty sure I was aimed here and that destroyed him because again sniper weapons are insanely powerful in this game as they should be now from over here I'm not sure if the sniper will hit but we'll test the recoil I know the cannon won't hit the cannon doesn't have nearly enough range to hit uh, this looks like a sniper shot was a little short so you're going to aim a little bit higher and fire something might hit I don't know I still might be too far away but either way but that's what it does. These are the hexapods. Hexapods are very, very defensive. They can hold a lot of weight. They can shoot a really far distance without even really trying. Uh, very little recoil. A lot of defense. I'm not sure exactly what the attack cockpit does. To me, it seems like the firing delay is lowered a lot, which is nice. Cause it means you can fire way faster. I have to, re to re-look at the, what the firing delay does, but uh, I believe it, makes, it helps you shoot faster. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they look nice. I really like the look of the, uh, new cockpits. But, yeah, these are, these are the hex spots. I love hex spots. Um, Armored Core, one of my main units was a, the, uh, Tetrapods, and I was pretty good with them. I'm not sure if I made a video on this channel with my main one called the Black Widow. Um, very nice Tetrapod I made in that game, but it's a, a sniper class doesn't really use snipers. It has a sniper on one weapon and then close range on the next weapon slot, which is basically what I do with this one. You know, it's long range for this kind of a battle, and then close range for when I screw up and get too close, which I might end up doing again with this spider unit. I'm going to try and avoid it, or try and destroy him before he... Uh-oh. That's what happens when you do that. I'm not sure what just hit me, unless it was him. Oh, I think I got him with that. The whole thing is leading your target. Uh, I missed that. Oh, no, I hit it. He flinched. Oh, he turned on me now. I don't want to get too close again, because the last time I got too close, I got destroyed. So, we're going to stay nice and far away. Take advantage of the sniper rifles. That have little to no recoil. His rockets are making my computer chug a bit. I really need to update. Uh, he's targeting something else. I have realized the AI can react a lot faster than you can. Like he, They can spin their Mavs completely around in half a second. And it takes quite a bit to turn your Mav around. Like that. That was actually pretty quick. But my, uh, frame, rates are, my frame is dropping because it's... I think the radar is freaking my computer out. 
above everything else. Which I'm going to probably take off because it, it is really screwing me over on this. But that's just, again, my my system is not meant for games. Sometimes when you go cheap and buy a $700 laptop. But yeah, these are the hex pods. I love them. I love hex pods. I love when robot games have these kind of units, the ones that are solid for recoil, that are great for sniping. It's just my preferred class. So glad to see this. Good job, guys at Bomb Dog Studios. And uh, yeah, keep up with the updates. I'm loving this game. I'm loving the hex pods especially. I'm gonna play around with the uh, attacker cockpits to see what they do exactly. You know, go look at the forums again and go try and understand better what they do. I just got hit by a rocket from somewhere. Probably him. I was hoping to end this with me destroying this unit, but that does not seem to be happening. Because again, it's hex pod versus hex pod, so it's defense versus defense. It's recoil uh, stability versus recoil stability. And I might run out of ammo with my heavy sniper rifle. If you can see in the top right corner, I'm trying to move while shooting. Ah, uh, he hit me with a sniper rifle. Alright, last big shot. Let's hope it does something. Should be close to dying. There we go. Alright, with that being said, and since my legs are basically destroyed, but this is how slow they move. I don't know if you've noticed this. They move extremely slow. But you know, there's only four minutes left of this match. Might as well just keep going. There's something going on over there. Lots of fire. Yeah, there's only four minutes left of the match. I might as well just finish it, call it a video, and call it happy. The game actually Halo just finished updating, so that's perfect timing. Oh, he stopped moving. I love too much. Oh, come on. Which, yes, they, I realized that after now that I'm not playing the Steam version, they added a time limit to the bottom left corner, which is nice, because I could never tell how long the matches were, but I do know I completed like two or three of them. And now it's in the bottom left corner. I can see how much time there is. I can't see other stuff, but I can definitely see it with the controller. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with just using their site version. I like it better. Just mostly because I get really nice previews into what's coming to the game, like this, which is nice. The hex pods are something that's not in the Steam version yet. The attack cockpits are not in the Steam version yet. You're moving, you jerk. I will eventually catch up to you. Uh, am I gonna hit him on that? Yep. I destroy this before the end of the match. Yep, he turned towards me, so I'm within his range. I believe he's using the sniper up because that trail was there for quite a bit. Oh, something. Now what are you aiming at? They're running out of ammo by the time I get to him. Now don't destroy me before I can kill this tank. Oh, okay. Destroyed. I'm not sure why the status bar wasn't coming up. I got destroyed by a scout unit with one or two weapons on it. That's kind of embarrassing, but two and two. I'm not sure what's going on with the frame rate. wasn't doing this earlier, but oh, come on. That tank is still there. Let's see if I can destroy it from all the way over here with the sniper cannons. And I did one shot. Sweet. You get stuck on a rock again? No? That hover unit does look pretty cool for being a very, very light unit. Feels like how it's built with the guns in front of the cockpit. It's moving weird, that's definitely for sure. I'm not sure why it's moving like that. Oh. No, don't be behind me again. Ooh, that's a heavy sniper cannon that just hit him. All right, who's behind me now? Who is behind me? Oh, it's you again. Uh, I'm going to try to back off from you because you destroyed me every time I got close to you and you do that. Yeah, 
I'm going to try and run off from him for the next minute and 15 seconds because he is not nice. I don't like him. don't like the fact that he destroys me every time he gets a chance. Oh, come on. Something else spawned near me. Something else I can destroy spawn near me, not that hexapod. Ooh. Take advantage of the fact that there's a... that they're fighting. Did I get it? Yep, I killed it. Oh, and that hexapod caught up to me. He does not want anything to do with me. I'm going to ignore him. I got another 20 seconds left of this game. Match is running thin. I don't know why my computer's still trying to record at 60. Not exactly sure why that is. It's that scout unit again. There's two. I didn't even notice there was a green one. God, stop following me. Alright, that was the end of the match. I have five kills. But yeah, now it actually ends the match. You can see when the end is coming. Um, the hexapods are very nice. I love the hexapod units again. I love playing sniper units. I love playing units that are good at uh, stability for accuracy. And especially for sniping. And I just, when I look at the attack types again, let's see what I can find out again. I'm going to come back and review them again. We'll get them, try them in a different way. But uh, that's what they are. They added new stuff. They had the attack styles of uh, cockpit. Radar apparently does not agree with my system, so I'm going to delete that. And yeah, this is what the hexapods can look like. They can also look crazier. Uh, if you want to look at them, go on the forums on Bomb Dog Studio's site, which will be in the description below to their site. The Facebook should be on the site as well. If not, I'll probably put it in the description anyway. To all my links. Yada, yada, yada. So until next time, guys, peace out. Get this game and see you guys next time.